what is up guys Jeff here no cutscenes back with another Fallout 4 video and today Bat Piper and I have another Vault Tech workshop guide where we're going to be showing you guys power conduits the new ones that were added and just a bunch of other stuff so let's get right into it now I built this little example to show you how power conduits work there are four new items in your actual conduit uh, section that if you look at them, they kind of look confusing at first, but what they are is essentially a safer way to make a grid and without less wires, or with a lot less wires, sorry. And as you can see here, I built this structure with these two lights on it that's completely disconnected from the rest of the vault. Now, what this means is there's nothing connecting it directly to another piece, either with a floor and a wall, an atrium, whatever, one of the vault pieces is not connecting to it. Now, all of the other pieces that you saw, the longer stretch, that connects to the original vault piece that you start off with, that everybody starts off with. Now, what that means is if you place one of these vault power conduits along the wall, this area, the one that is still connected to the original uh, main piece, if there were any lights in there, would light up. But that disconnected piece with the red and green wouldn't. So what we need to do is place one of the vault prefab walls there. I already have two of them, and as you can see again, it's connected all the way up there. This is pretty far down in the vault, and it works because of that main generator, that 150 power massive one that's off in the uh, left side of the vault, like right in the entrance. That courses throughout the entire vault workshop area. So if we put one of the walls here, it makes a connection, then you're able to actually put one of the power conduits on a wall. They snap to any of the vault walls except the wide ones. Let me turn off the light here so I can show you guys what I mean by all the lights within um, a certain radius. It's it's a four by four radius if you think of it that way. Four out and four deep. Any light that you have in there will light up. I actually have a mod that triples that but the vanilla base radius is four. And as you can see since that is four away lights up perfectly. I already had some other lights in there too, some flashing siren lights, and because again it's within that four radius, they light up as well. And I'm gonna make this area like my reactor, so if like, you know, something bad goes down, like we can have these lights come on or something with some logic gates, but that'll be another scenario. But yeah, that's how grid power works in the vault. It's really simple. You just have to make sure everything is connected to that original, and then put one of those power conduits on the wall. You got a four radius and you're good to go. You got power. All right, now, next up, we're actually going to be into the building. Say you want to connect one of the normal structures, concrete, wood, warehouse, what have you, to one of your vault pieces. You can do this. It's going to require a specific piece, the atrium floor piece. But let me just show you here how you can't really, um, you can't really connect anything to, like, just say this vault hallway. Now, I'm going to keep that vault hallway. Just the first one I built. Just this one, the one that I'm jumping into. And I'm just showing you guys that um, like the way the vault is built, that if you actually follow from the initial um, vault item, like that first one, this is where you'll actually end up on that side. So you can get out of there, but it looks a little weird. And what I wanted to do is have a nice smooth transition into like um, a wood or warehouse kind of area where it's just like a little bit junkier. It's not all vault throughout the entire thing. So what we can do here is if you go into the atrium, you go onto the floor piece, and now it only works with this piece. I've tested every single piece that has a floor with it or a wall. For some reason, it's the atrium floor piece only that will connect to the original, like, you know, concrete, wood, warehouse, barn floors, etc. You just have to find the right angle. I don't know why that is, but just trust me, it's the atrium floor piece. And the good thing is, you can just go ahead and remove it and place your original vault piece that you wanted, which was, you know, just a utility hallway. Place a door cap on the end of it, and you have a nice little exit zone. It's really, really simple. Again, atrium floor piece, you can remove it after you connect your wood or whatever you want to it, and then you're good to go. Like, I think it looks really good. You can put some supports underneath it, of course, if you want. But like if you if you want to do a vault like I was saying that's kind of transitioning into a junk because I'm going to do a vault that's like we, you know, it's the commonwealth, it's the wasteland, things aren't the best. 
So I'm going to have where this water purification treatment plant is, just a bunch of children enslaved living there. I know it sounds really bad, but there's a mod that now has children settlers and I've been using it and like they're really good farmers. So that, that's what I'm going to do with that part. But yeah, anyway, let's get into another build. Now again, with this atrium floor, there's so much versatility with it because you can snap it to again pretty much any of the pre-existing DLC pieces, and that even includes elevators. So yes, you can put elevators inside your vault. Now, one uh, word of advice is if say you have a two-story elevator, build a three-floor atrium because the elevator itself, that roof, it, it's not gonna work. You'll see in a second what I mean, but it's not gonna work as well with the atrium if it's like, you know, an, a two-floor atrium with a two-floor elevator. You'll see in a second. All right. You can easily place it again to that atrium floor. You can't do it to the walled ones, but you'll see how it's like, you know, there's just a little bit of a gap. If you do a three floor atrium and two floor elevator or a four floor atrium and a three floor elevator, you can overcome that really easily. And then of course you can take away the atrium pieces and put down, or the atrium floor pieces and then put down like an atrium wall or bottom or window. You got a nice elevator and again, you can snap off the elevator with the existing uh, workshop pieces. Fortunately, you can't do it with the actual atrium pieces. Um, you have to do uh, something a little different, which you'll see literally in two minutes. But you can snap it with, of course, the barn, wood, concrete, and it snaps to the wall. You have a perfect elevator. You can make this, of course, for yourself if you want to do like you know your own section of your vault. Um, your settlers can't use it, of course, but I think it's just a nice touch. I wish they would have included some way to make, you know, usable elevators for like five or six stories for the vault. But I mean, you can basically do the same thing. It's just going to be a little bit, you know, junkier themed. I think it ends up coming out okay. You know, let me know what you guys think. And you can as well put like the warehouse or the barn walls around the outside of it. So you can make like, you know, that uh, greenhouse style, whatever. So I think it's really cool that you can do that with elevators. But um, I'm going to show you guys how to do just another little trick with the atrium. I've built an overseer's office. Now, I started with this staircase and just went from there. What you always want to do, if you're doing a common room, there's, of course, the common section in the vault now with, like, an atrium or even just a utility or domestic hallway. Build your common area first and then build your atrium around it. But what I've done here is, like, say you want to make a makeshift factory and have an overseer look out over it. You can do that, but unfortunately, if you want to do anything more than like um, one story, you're going to have to use the atrium. That's just kind of the way it is. That's the way they made it. But what you want to do is you want to build three fourths of the building. And what I mean by that is the part that is going to be touching your actual common area, like your overseer's office or whatever, or your room area, sorry, like the overseer's place. You don't want to have anything built there, but like you're going to build it eventually. And what you're going to do here is you're just going to build it. So like I said, build the overseers first and then build down below. And you can even build like this if you want from the beginning. Just make sure to take it away when you want to do this part because what I'm going to show you is the only other section of the vault, like the DLC, that has this little overseer window. I don't know why it's not in any of the other rooms. It's only an atrium. And it doesn't make a lot of sense, and it's the only one that's actually just a wall that doesn't have anything connected to it like the Overseer's one does. So first of all, you have to put a roof if you want to actually put a wall underneath it. If you put the wall first, you're not going to be able to put the roof. Uh, just you know, another word of advice. So then, after you put the roof, you can put the wall in. You can go to your door section, find that circular window, and you have a way to actually see out into your factory or whatever, or just a cafeteria or just a way to check on your settlers. It's, it's really really nice and I think it's you know it makes it actually look good as opposed to just having something like open you know what I mean but yeah it it's kind of the only way to do it now this part what I was saying where um, like the atrium it's really the only way to make kind of two-story buildings that will make any sense at all and the best way to actually make a two-story building without having to use um, like say one of the you know the elevator trick where you actually end up putting say wood on the second floor is to use these two-part divider ones from the atrium the two floor ones where there's a floor piece in the middle and it's two floors as well because you're going to be able to snap stairs to it you're going to be able to actually have it inside of the building with two floors 
if you just put like, see how the walls on the side don't have any floor on them on the second one? You're not even going to be able really to place anything unless you have stairs or an atrium floor. It's, it's really confusing. Just, just watching you'll understand. Because you have to kind of place like the atrium floor off of everything now. I mean, if you want to use the atrium floor, which I do, definitely follow this. If you want it to be like um, the same level underneath, you're not really going to be able to do that, which kind of sucks, but you know, what can you do? And I'm also going to teach you guys how to use the railings because the railings are incredibly messed up. You have to work exclusively backwards to even get them to work. Um, yeah, but you'll see here in a second. So again, very easy if you use those. Uh, split level two floor atrium ones you can snap stairs to them stairs don't really snap to anything else but those i've found or you just kind of have to get lucky and we'll go through the railing you know take away this piece easily put one of the four-sided railings in there that one is probably the easiest one any of the other ones do not work as they should you should be able to place one of the l pieces one of the corner ones just right there right but no it for some reason goes onto the other side of the piece, which, yeah, makes no sense. So what you have to do is where you kind of want that um, railing to go, you have to place an atrium floor piece there. And you, you kind of just have to get lucky, find the right spot, you know, trial and error. It just takes a little bit of time, but you'll see that it eventually will jump to the section that you want it. Really, it's just trial and error. But move the atrium piece where you want that railing to be. And like I was saying, that's how you have to work 100% backwards. It's not even like put this here and then move it. It's literally just this is backwards. I don't know why. I hope you'll fix it. If not, use this technique. It'll help you. You might have to remove some of your pieces that you've placed. But as long as you can place them back and you make sure that you do or save before, you're going to be okay. And like like I was like I was saying here, I know that you can remove move the staircase back either way. We'll go ahead, go up into the railing or go up into the atrium floor pieces, then to the railing, because again, where you want the actual railing to be, place your floor piece, place your floor piece, and then remove it back to where it was. It's it's gonna be a little backwards as far as the railings. This is really the only way like I found them to work. If you guys have any other um, you know ideas or suggestions or or you're having any problems or you just know like a better way to do something, please let me know. But I'm going to be doing a few more of these guides because vaults, yeah, they're they're kind of confusing. And even, you know, I've probably played, I don't know, 15 hours of it so far. And there's still a lot of stuff I'm finding out, especially like connecting to the existing vanilla and the older DLC structures. There's a lot. So yeah, let me know if you guys have anything in particular. Thanks for watching this video. Oh yeah, and thank you guys so much for 2,000 subs. I'm going to do probably like an actual channel update where you see my face in a bit. Just, you know, say thanks. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. That's fucking awesome. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. I'm going to have uh, part two of my Outpost of Mujibu build very soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.